Hi friend, I am sitting here and reading about some Swift UI stuff and thinking which one I would like to pick if I am just starting uh, learning iOS development right now. Old, uh, let's say old UI kit framework for user interface building or new and shiny Swift UI, which is just released and still in beta, so not in production yet. So, but it's quite a big question, uh, which one to pick, which one is the best to learn right now and uh, if i would start to learn ios development right now that will be a very confusing question so i will try to answer it and also will share some my own ideas uh, what i am planning to do with swift ui as already mm, working ios developer but let's get out it's uh, not so much air here so much better it's a little bit cold outside, but it is what it is, Latvian summer. Firstly, why to pick something? Why do not learn both of the interface development methods? So, to know both of them, it's definitely good, <laughs> but for beginners, it's just too hard. It's, it's too much, it will slow down you. So, but let's go back to our main question. What, <laughs> what to learn if you are just starting uh, iOS development? So, it depends. <laughs> There is no easy answer. It really depends on your situation and your plans. So I have a question in Instagram from one of the followers. He's a designer and he is thinking about jumping in a Swift development. So it's just perfect. He can design nice user interfaces and so on and he want to learn how to implement that in code. So basically he is planning to release his own applications and build his own applications for such case, uh, if you are looking for own application development, I will suggest to stick with Swift UI. Yes, it is in beta right now, but it will be released in a few months, so you can start learning right now. And uh, as soon as you will be ready to release first application, Swift UI will be production uh, version. It will be available for release in the App Store and you are good to go. And that's my answer for those who are looking to develop own applications. If you are looking for freelancing, uh, you can build up iOS applications <laughs> with any tools that you have and what you know, usually freelance customers do not care about technology behind applications, they care just uh, to get their application in the market and that's it, so basically you can use Swift UI for freelance projects as well. It's getting too noisy here. Okay, just found a relatively quiet spot in the park for recording. So, but what to do if you are looking for job right now? Not in startup uh, and you are not looking to develop your own applications, just maybe one or few for portfolio and after that you like to apply for jobs in big tech companies, I don't know, Google, Apple, whatever. <laughs> then uh, Swift UI is not uh, a way for you. You have to learn uh, UI kit first, definitely, because I would say that minimum is uh, two years, but I believe that at least for five years we will still see uh, UI kit projects which which how to how to be maintained and so on. So, for example, I'm developing iOS applications in uh, Swift only, but I still have some uh, Objective-C libraries what I'm maintaining for a few of my uh, freelance customers. That uh, just how. <laughs> Uh, IT works, so you will see UI kit applications for a very long time and I will say three years, at least three years, you will have to know UI kit to get uh, the job as iOS developer in bigger companies. Uh, if you are developing your own applications like I am doing as well, so that's up to you what to do with this Swift UI, so you can start to use it, I don't know, after two, three years, uh, or you can start to use it right now. Sure, you can mix both of them, you can mix uh, UIKit and SwiftUI, but for indie developers, I believe that speed is very important and uh, maintenance costs are very important because as indie developers, usually we are just a one-man company. For example, 
I'm even uh, not working full time on my own applications. I'm freelancing for multiple projects and I am trying to manage my own application development as well. And basically I don't have time to implement one feature two times. Uh, there is no reason to do that uh, just for fun. Uh, what are business reasons to implement Swift UI? So th that is faster development. Definitely you can build iOS applications faster. If you are looking into Apple Watch development, so Swift UI is is only right way to go. If you are looking to implement Swift UI for your applications, I would consider to drop uh, iOS 12 support in your applications. And basically that is what I am thinking to do. Because I have uh, in my mind uh, plans about Apple Watch application development for my uh, Freediver Apnea application and this will be a very nice playground for Swift UI learning. So I'm thinking about that and I suggest to you think about that as well, about going all in in Swift UI. But if that is important uh, for you to have as much users as possible, so probably you will not like to drop iOS 12. So. I'm looking in my numbers and almost 90% of my application uh, users are on iOS 12. So I guess that uh, they will migrate to iOS 13 quite fast. And I will have at least 80% of the users of iOS uh, 13 quite fast. And so that's the reason why I see that I can migrate to iOS 13 only quite fast. Uh, yes, maybe 15, maybe 10% will stay on iOS 12 or 11, but they still have application what they can use. That's why I just released one more release right now. Uh, application is quite stable. There is no any significant, actually there is no any known bugs. That works fine, all of the functionality is on place and I'm thinking about slow migration to Swift UI. That's what I'm planning to do with my own application. That will be way how to learn Swift UI. And if I will see that I have time for Apple Watch application development, that depends on upcoming projects right now. Uh, I will definitely do that, I will definitely develop that and I am planning to share my experience, progress, findings and so on on uh, Instagram and on YouTube. So if you are interested to follow that, there are subscribe buttons. We'll see, we'll see how it will go. Uh, sure, maybe I will change my plans, but currently I am thinking about going quite strongly in this Swift UI thing. I am not feeling that I am, uh, I am missing something and you are not missing something if you, if you will uh, wait um, until, uh, until Swift UI will be stable and uh, more stable and uh, will we'll stick uh, right now with UI kit so it's plenty of time for migrations and so on but uh, that is just my approach of working I was all in in uh, Swift uh, programming language and I'm looking forward to go all in in Swift UI as well. So that's my approach to start learning fast and I see that this is option to develop iOS applications very fast and that is what I'm interested to do. So thank you for watching. As I said there are like, subscribe and so on buttons, mash them, push them and so on. Okay, thank you for watching and see you on next one.